Good morning. Welcome to Terra at Home, and uh, well, happy Thanksgiving weekend. We have uh, Wendy Hollick here from Neat Spaces, and you've been on the show before, and uh, you're a professional organizer. So it's a good uh, time of year. You know, a lot of times people don't want to get into the stuff in the summer, right? Because you're out and about, you're running around, you want to be outside. But now we're getting into the season where we're starting to spend more time indoors, and you, you need to get yourself a little bit organized <laughs> just for your own personal sanity, right? Correct. Yes. 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 Okay, yes. so we're going to focus on, all right, kids being back in school, and even though we have a lot of technology, um, again, we're still getting paper. Paper from school and, uh, of course, kids work and everything. So we need to organize that. Correct. Yes. That's right. So where, where would you start? Well, I'm going to start with my favorite home calendar. Okay. Uh, this is a family calendar. Um, what I like best about this is the large squares mm -hmm. and the lines. Um, there's lots of space to write. So even though we have electronic technology mm -hmm. and everyone has one of these, mm -hmm. we still need to have a central station in the home where everybody knows what's going on. That enables the kids to be responsible and aware of what their activities are. That's right, because I mean, well, so I know as parents, like, you know, we, we all have our calendars, as you say, you know, within our laptops and our phones, but the kids can't see that. That's right. So you want to have it so, I still like the idea of having an open calendar for everybody to see. It's just sometimes, you know, and some things happen with technology and you don't have <laughs> access to it. So here you go. Right. This is, especially if you have a lot of kids. Yes. You need some organizing. You can color code this as well with yeah. a highlighter or a different colored pen. Mm -hmm. um, each child has a color and that can transform throughout the house mm -hmm. um, with some of the other things we're going to talk about today as well. Perfect. I, I like that idea. So basically, um, Wendy and I were talking before the show, it's suggesting that you give a color to each child so they know that they're blue and everything comes with that will be blue or red or green. So we'll, we'll get to that. So mm -hmm. I like this idea. Very cost effective. And again, it just central station, as we know, pretty much for most homes is a kitchen. Get mm -hmm. it somewhere in that area and then people know what's going on, right? Right. Especially with a lot of activities and, oh boy. Kids do a lot of stuff these days. Yes. So do parents. <laughs> yes, we do. We're very busy. Yes. So, so this is this cool. Is so great. this is easy to find locally mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, makes it, uh, makes it help, helps your life out a little bit. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, next, where, we, where should we go? Which direction? Um, we can go to paper management in the home. Okay. So this piggybacks on this, again, with the color coding files. Mm -hmm. um, even though we have a lot of things that we do online, there's still paper that comes home. Mm -hmm. So when there's a paper... Um, or a permission slip that comes home from school. Uh, I would like to see it put on the calendar mm -hmm. so everyone knows what's going on. Yep. You're going to put it in your electronic diary so you don't forget. Mm -hmm. And this is going that. to be the information that sometimes you still need to keep that piece of paper. Mm -hmm. It has uh, details on it as far as the time, what to wear, what to bring, mm -hmm. what the activity involves. Uh, so kind of, it can be quite involved sometimes. This is where you would put it. So yep. this stays out on the counter or a desk in the kitchen or a home office mm -hmm. where you're going to be able to refer to it uh, so it's not out of sight, out of mind. Now, you were mentioning to me that a lot of times people now, they want to declutter and their way of decluttering is clearing off the counter and putting everything away underneath to the point where I know that sometimes, um, I know people <laughs> in my family that will literally take brand new information, whether it's you know your gas and heating bill or again, kids' permission forms and move it to another room Mm -hmm. And then it's gone. Out of sight, out of mind, sometimes isn't good. That's correct. <laughs> because That's then it's correct. really literally out of your mind. Yes. <laughs> That's true. And you don't, you, don't, you don't hand in the permission slip because it's gone. So even if you say you just got it, throw it in here and this is just quick, mm -hmm. easy access. And you know right. this is the stuff that's of urgency or right. at least This is active. This right. we don't want to put away. Right. So this could be, uh, have their names on it. Again, mm -hmm. color coded. The person in the family that's blue yep. would have their name. Even if you don't have children, this is a great way to manage paper in the home mm -hmm. for your own activities, your own to do, your own bills to pay. Mm -hmm. Things that need to have attention and that we call active. Right. It's ongoing. Yep. But then when it's done, take the paper out and recycle it. And recycle. And it's good. And then that way you're just, you're not hoarding stuff in there. You're not keeping stuff that's outdated for a year. You're moving it out. Get right. it out. It's transitional. Right. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Excellent. And I like this idea. Now you showed me this and I thought this was the coolest thing ever. Um, <laughs> look at this thing. You hold it up like this. So you said you can hang this anywhere. Yes. And it's like really, again, color coding, mm -hmm. right? And it's another system of filing and just keeping information. Yep, it's active and it's portable. Mm -hmm. So this folds up as you saw mm -hmm. and can be taken to the office, can be taken in the car if you're going on a mm -hmm. hockey tournament that. where you need to take the paperwork or you want to work while you're away. Yep. That can hold business or any, again, any paper that's active mm -hmm. or it can stay um, attached to a wall or behind a door yep. uh, to be used in the home 
I like that idea. And it's mm -hmm. very compact, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, and yeah. That's this one here. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's a great idea. And again, a lot of these items, easy to find, you know, local stores now, you know, business stores, say, you know, or you, you've got access to this stuff. So it's not like it's, you know, it's not it's not easy to mm -hmm. find, right? And anything can be found on the web as well. Right. You and can, that's the thing, you too. You can search these, uh, search these guys. Right. Okay, so... Talking about organizing your kids' lives. Okay, we were saying that something like this seems like a really great option. I know we all take pictures of our kids. Half the time, most of the time, they're sitting digital in our laptops or in our phones. Mm -hmm. You gotta print them off. Or you're also getting you know, full school photos or teen photos. And I, as I was saying to you, I am, I'm very particular about wanting it to be super fabulous when I do set up that book for him that I don't get around to doing it at all. Right. So. That's very common. So <laughs> I'm going go to show it. you the guilt-free, okay. um, mommy guilt-free way of organizing for your children mm -hmm. um, that they can self-serve and look at it at any time, mm -hmm. but it costs under $15 mm. and takes less than two minutes to do. Love it. So this is just a scrapbooking book. Yep. Um, and what I've done is the first half of the book are school photos. So the class photo and the uh, individual photo and literally just tucked right in here, not even using any tape. So yeah, I mean you could take this sheet out and you could decorate it to whatever you want, you could, but it's also just... <laughs> you could get very fancy or not, yep. but it's done. It's yeah. not a guilt where you live and go, I don't know where all the soccer pictures are mm -hmm. or hockey pictures, where's all the school pictures. Yeah. I've walked into my daughter's room and she's been looking at this laughing, can't even oh, believe you know, yeah, how much love, she's changed. Kids love looking at pictures of themselves, yeah. right? And this is an example here, the, the latter half of the book showing um, the sports yeah. photos. So I've divided it. Mm -hmm. You can change it up any way you like. Mm -hmm. You can add p uh, pages very easily. Okay, so you can add to this one. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So you do not need to be crafty. No. And it <laughs> rids us mums of the guilt of well, not doing anything with the pictures that we spend time. a lot of money on. Yes. And no one's enjoying them because right. they're in a drawer with yeah. other miscellaneous papers mm -hmm. from that swoosh. Yeah. You've probably seen so, so much, right? So, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. So to kind of recap, of course, this is just touching a little bit. I mean, you will do full-on garages for people, mm -hmm. do their basements from like top to bottom, cleaning out, organizing, setting up, again, uh, units and, and uh, containers and making sure that everybody has their lives organized from any room in the house, right? Exactly. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we can come in um, and uh, work with the client, mm -hmm. uh, without the client, uh, or a bit of both, <laughs> depending on how busy or... Do some people say, here's the keys, go in my house? Yes, they do. Yeah. Beautiful. It's fabulous. So your website so again is neatspaces.ca. Neat .ca. Go yeah. on and you can communicate with you that way and uh, and again some, just even just great, some great ideas for me but also you can just go from top to bottom and make their life way better. Yes. Thank you for coming on the show Wendy. Okay, Always good information. Alright we'll be back with more Tara at home after this. Thank you. Live color fully at Terra, where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, look for trees and shrubs with the Medallion Plant Tag. Medallion Plants, locally grown, the pride of Niagara. AM 900 CHML is giving you more news when you want it most. Non-stop news weekday mornings 5 till 9, weekday afternoons 3 to 6, with weather and traffic on the 9s. Hear about it first from AM 900 CHML, Hamilton's news talk leader. Good morning. Welcome back to Terra at Home. We're at a fun little place for uh, both kids and adults alike. It's called Crocodoodle, and uh, it's a pottery painting studio. I'm here with Angie, Hi. the owner of this particular franchise, yes. and uh, this is the Burlington location. Yes, Burlington. And um, okay, so this is fun. This is fun, as we were mentioning, for all ages. Male, all ages. female, doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter. The guys come in. 
the, let's face it, the dads come in with the kids and say yeah. they're not going to do much, and then within 15 minutes, they've pretty much got a piece of pottery in front of them. So <laughs> we're we're turning it around. It, it brings it brings that kind of out of you, right? And it, I think it's it a does. bit of a, it's a bit of a kind of a, a getaway for your brain as an adult Absolutely. because once we leave school and we're not doing anything artistic anymore, we forget that this actually really it, it makes you focus and pushes away all the other cares in life. It never ceases to amaze me the children that come in and the parents say, oh, they won't do it, they won't sit still, and half an hour later yeah. you have the five-year-old yeah. little boy that's just so mm -hmm. intrigued by the motor car that he's painting and the parents are dumbfounded. Exactly. Well, I, I've even told you that about my little guy who's you know, three and a half. He's like, there's no way. Yeah. He doesn't sit still. And my mom says he just runs everywhere. Yeah. But he managed to sit here for at least, you know, ten minutes and which actually is... painted a crocodile, which is a lot for a little guy. <laughs> for a little and guy. And I didn't tie him to the chair or anything. It was really good. So, but it is. It's a great It's a great place. Um, it, you know, let's talk about Crocodoodle and how it got started. To be Crocodoodle started about 12 years ago. A lovely lady by the name of uh, Annette Brennan started mm -hmm. it and the idea was born from her home and um, she would take it out to people's houses and do private parties and uh, and then she decided okay this isn't enough there's mm -hmm. too big of a demand let's go retail wow. and uh, started it's opening up the different locations and uh, so we haven't been around a long time mm -hmm. but there's about 10 of us now uh, Chatham just opened Brantford just wow. opened Blue Mountain still kicking around. Yep. Um, yeah, the Blue Mountain one. That's yeah, right. and the Blue that. Mountain one's great because uh, everybody in Ontario goes to Blue Mountain. <laughs> I get so we many all people. Way up towards yeah. Hollywood, don't One we? way or another, somebody yep. gets to Blue Mountain, and then they learn about all the other locations, and then they come and see us locally. Yes. Um, I think the biggest surprise I've had since I opened is so many people come in and say, uh, "I can't believe you're here. You're so close." I think uh, right, they, right. They can walk to us. They can. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. a five-minute drive, and I don't think they have that. They had that ever before. No, and it, because it is, and it really is. It's just another great thing to do with your family. Yeah. Right. Because people, I mean, as parents, we know. Kids have a very short attention span, and they need variety. So. And it's something new. It's not it something is. that happens. Um, there's no other place in Burlington that offers it like we do. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's we get phone calls all the time. You know, my baby's uh, 13 months old, and we said, "Yeah, bring him in. Like we've got the high chair." Could you do even some sort of concepts of like, just like handprints, using handprints and stuff? So uh, we just did Alexa. Just did seven week old baby footprints this oh, week. I love it. A little girl um, and keepsakes like that are absolutely priceless it, it is. and the babies are great and from the youngest <laughs> age we are handing them a paintbrush as soon as they come in mm -hmm. and our paints are water soluble they're non-toxic you know they're <laughs> lead free yeah. um, nobody gets uh, nobody can be harmed from them mm -hmm. and the infants are great I mean we see a lot of paint in hair and on faces sure. and if it gets in their mouth then so be it they're okay it just yeah. tastes like chalk yeah so, so they're good so it's not that bad, yeah. right? and they are so proud of themselves yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing. So that's what's great about it is for kids is that no matter what they paint, eventually they come back. They come back. A few days later, right? Yep. Pick it up. It's all done, and it's that their little keepsake. You can even put their age, the date on it. Yeah. And that's something. And I'm going to use it as a progression of Jack's life, just to see, you know, How his he talents improves. unfold. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully, he improves <laughs> from when he was three. But um, I guess the great part too is it's also seasonal. So here we are. You know, we're you know Thanksgiving time. But yeah. but if you were thinking about as you move through the seasons, Halloween, you're going to oh, have yeah. great stuff. Christmas. Christmas is is probably our most important time of year, and it's those one of a kind, priceless gifts. And let's face it, grandmas and grandpas and omas and nonas and nonas, yep. they don't, they have everything they need. Right. And, and and they're able to come in here and create something that's... This gift means way more. Way more. Yeah. And the funny thing is we get parents that come in and, and I have to ask them is, you know, is grandma going to put it away? <laughs> and, and it'll be too precious to touch, or is grandma gonna actually use it? Right. So because you have that's the thing. So you have um, you know cute little figurines and things like that. Yeah. But you also have actual functional. Oh, we have the platters and the teapots and the mugs and the cups and, that's and, great and ev gift. everything is a hundred percent safe to use once it goes through the killing process. Mm -hmm. So these one of a kind gifts and I mean we've seen people crying here picking up stuff and it, it, it burned my heart yeah. you know for the just to see these people and the looks on their faces mm -hmm. it's incredible. Well it's funny I actually of all the mugs that I've had the one mug I painted years ago at one of Annette's studios I, I actually that's the one I gravitate towards the 
the and most still habit. from my tea, I drink from that. Yeah, because you know. I, I don't know why, but there's yeah. something about it. And it's, I, special. I it. it's special. <laughs> but, yeah. It, it's unbelievably special, these, these items that are created here. Mm -hmm. And I am honored to be a part. Uh, we just, uh, a good friend, uh, they, they had to put their dog down, as mm -hmm. sad as it sounds. And her first instinct, she actually left the vets to come here and we loaded her up with tiles and paints and she was able to go get paw prints. <gasps> and, really? Yeah. Oh so my goodness, we do so things cute. like that that, you know, she knew to think of me because she knew me, but it's a nice, you know, but you're it, just it's giving there. people ideas right now. People yeah. Are like, okay. But it, it, it's more than just, you know, like it's just really one of a kind. So they, they were going to turn the little tiles into coasters so that Perfect. all the kids had a coaster on their bedside yeah. table. Oh, that is really actually smart thinking. Yeah. And that's the thing. So all of these little keepsakes, they all mean something. And uh, and again, adults coming in and the concept of sitting down, um, you know, with your child and actually spending family time. Family time. No yeah. blackberries. Right. Um, <laughs> we see them on the table the odd time and we kind of say, no, you have to put that away. <laughs> the rules are. <laughs> the rules yeah. are. And, and you know me, Leslie, I don't have a lot of rules. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we don't see a lot of blackberries. The time here is the time. It's the bonding. Mm -hmm. It's with the family. It's well, just We can even see today. Out. I mean, all yeah. the kids around here with their moms and their dads and, you know. Yeah, and they're all here having fun, yeah. making their one-of-a-kind works of arts, and yeah. it's awesome. And I love that it's seasonal, and I love that you're bringing in different concepts, but also you, you guys do birthday parties, too. Oh, the birthday parties yeah. are sensational. Mm -hmm. I wish uh, I could have had my birthday parties here. I think, can I? <laughs> now, can you I still can. I actually had a lady, I won't say her age, but she was above the four and the O. Mm -hmm. and oh, she, I'm below the four and the O, she did, she did have, <laughs> yes, she, were, she did have her birthday party here, and she came in. We have a whole separate party room studio mm -hmm. and she had a private party for her and 10 of her girlfriends mm -hmm. for her 42nd birthday perfect and so there you go so you can do it young or old young and or you old. also have ladies nights as well the ladies nights are incredible here um, the ladies in Burlington need an escape and I think they're tired of just going to movies and going <laughs> you know so last Thursday of every month dedicated to the ladies we actually close the studio stay open an hour later wow I guess and you would great. have to because that's the thing. So it's good times. People can have snacks and yeah. hang out with each other and just enjoy. And it's fun for us too. I mean, I couldn't be happier being here and meeting the public and the community. We've been doing a lot of fundraisers lately mm -hmm. for the different schools and the different charities. We're involved with all the team sports now. So mm -hmm. we've sponsored a couple of hockey teams, girls and boys, because I didn't want awesome. to pick. And, and you don't have to book ahead to come. You just walk in. Completely drop in. And I think that's the big mystery about us mm -hmm. is that people think, oh, you need to make an appointment. And no, we are open seven days a week all the studios are perfect just come on in and see us and we'll, well get you it's sorted it's not easy yep. it's not easy well thanks for letting easy. us come into your space well, and to, thanks, thanks for to all the kids and families here today as well for letting us come in and uh, again you're located at highway five and walkers, walkers line in the uh, longos plaza here and uh there's locations all over the place as well yes there perfect. is perfect so fun this is good for our terra at home folks that's it for now we'll be back with more terra at home Come and explore the new Terra, where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, look for trees and shrubs with the Medallion Plant Tag. Medallion Plants, locally grown, the pride of Niagara. AM 900 CHML is giving you more news when you want it most. Non-stop news weekday mornings 5 till 9, weekday afternoons 3 to 6, with weather and traffic on the 9s. Hear about it first from AM 900 CHML, Hamilton's news talk leader.
Welcome back to Tara at Home and to add to our Thanksgiving special officially this weekend. I cannot believe Thanksgiving is here. We're in October mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's always a great idea. Everybody makes their some aspect of their traditional dinner mm -hmm. uh, but it's always nice to add a new side. Sometimes people like to add a twist especially if they have that same sort of scenario every year. Family's coming mm -hmm. over. So you come up with two different sides for us today. Yes. Okay. We're going to start off with a scallop potatoes but it's a bacon and portini scallop potatoes. Oh yum. It's a little bit of a twist there, some different flavors. Mm. And then we're also gonna do some Brussels sprouts. One of my favorite things to uh, to play with, we're gonna add some um, a prosciutto, smoked prosciutto actually, and Ooh. some apple in with that. And we'll Perfect. caramelize those. Perfect, well, that'll be a nice yeah. flavor. Okay, great, some good ideas. So we're gonna start off with the scalloped potatoes. And I already have the bacon cooking just because I, I wanna be able to show you everything here and, and have enough time. So this is just uh, maybe five or six slices of bacon. And I just slice them up into small pieces and just sauteing them mm -hmm. uh, until, you know, crispy. I like mine quite crispy. Crispy, yeah. So we'll just keep that going there. Now, every once in a while, they kind of drain off a little bit of the fat because the, there is a lot of fat that comes off of the bacon. So again, when you start with your bacon in the pan, you don't need to add any kind of fat. No, no. butter, no oil because it, there's And the way you're cooking it too, right? So if you're really cooking it down to crisp, yeah, you're going to have to keep draining because right. you're getting rid of all that, that yeah so I've drained there. this twice already there's still quite a bit in there but that's okay it'll just add a little bit of extra flavor mm. it is thanks for smelling right hey, so it's bacon yeah <laughs> they can taste good on anything <laughs> so it's almost done I'm gonna add in um, some garlic just because I like to add garlic into everything mm -hmm. a little bit extra flavor and we'll add in some onions too which always go oh, nice and that'll be great uh, in the scallop potatoes so I'll add those in when the bacon's almost done and we'll just cook everything together it makes okay. it easier in the meantime, while well, we get the onion cooking down here and the bacon a little more crispy, I have a big pot here and this is going to be the pot for my potatoes. So I have peeled and sliced my potatoes fairly thin. They are still raw. Now, did you slice these by hand? I did. Okay. I did. I guess that's what chefs do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Takes a couple minutes. Okay. But, um, <laughs> This is about five potatoes here. It'll nicely fill this casserole dish. Okay. Uh, if you have a mandolin, you can use that yeah. too. It might be a little faster yes. and more precise. Especially if you have to make three of these for hungry, hungry people. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to use the big pot for the potatoes. And what I'm actually going to do is put in, um, this is about a cup of milk and some cream. Whoa. Cream. And we're going to turn this on and get it kind of simmering a bit. Okay. So we'll leave that for a moment mm -hmm. and I'll explain to you uh, the mushrooms that we're using. Right. So these are porcini mushrooms and uh, you get them at the grocery store in a, in a box very similar to this. Um, and then they're in a bag. And, and they're dried. Um, yeah, they are mm -hmm. dried. You can't get fresh porcini mushrooms around here. Right. It no. would be very difficult very to. So, you, so you're always going to have to be using the dry ones. Okay. And you just want to soak them um, in some boi boiling water, mm -hmm. basically. Boiling them hot up. water. Yeah, and soften go. them. Yeah. So okay. I started this when I was getting things ready here. So as long as you put them in the water, um, by the time you kind of get to the stage where you need them, mm -hmm. they should be soft enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what you want to do is you actually, when you put them into your bacon mixture, when you put the mushrooms in there, you want to reserve the water that they've been sitting in. Yes, I've made that mistake before where I didn't save the liquid. Mm -hmm. And then how do you get that back? <laughs> yeah, it's so just a very flavorful it. liquid. It that really just is. Adds, it just adds to the Keep it dish. for anything, even if you don't use it all. You keep it for soups or any type of, it's so mm -hmm. good, right? Yeah, use it in okay. the future. Okay. So um, basically these are nice and soft now. So what I'm gonna do with these is just chop them up a little bit further. Just quickly chopped. Okay. And we can add that into this mixture here. Perfect. So now the potatoes are going to be going in with the, the milk and cream bath then. Right. Ah, okay. So we're going to be using the liquid from here. So that's why, let me try to get these out now. Mm -hmm. And then we can throw this liquid in with the milk. Okay. And we'll get that simmering. Oh, and then we'll just be nice. throw the potatoes in there. Sure. And uh, simmer them for a couple minutes just to get them soft. Okay. So let's put that in there. Okay, there we go. All right. Thank you. So we've got our milk, our cream, and our mushroom water in there. Again, all of those just in with the yummy bacon onion mix. Yeah, and um, 
And you can make your own variation of this, add, add whatever kind of mushrooms you like. Okay. These are very, they have a very distinct flavor. They do very so. earthy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So they might not be for everybody, but I think they're a good addition to this dish. Okay. So two minutes left. Okay. So you have to be super chef. Right. <laughs> okay. We're going to put the potatoes in this milk and we'll just cook them in there and that'll get them ready okay. to go in the casserole dish. All right. We'll switch pans. And we're going to do the Brussels sprouts now, which are very easy to do. Okay. Basically taking a whole Brussels sprout, I cut it in half and then I, you know, chop it. So you know what, this might almost. be good for people because some people don't really like Brussels sprouts. So maybe if you chop them all up, finally, mm -hmm. the approach is a little bit easier for some people. There seems that's, to be this hate for, bro mm -hmm. or for Brussels sprouts. <laughs> and you know what, that's what I found. That's why I'm, I'm yeah. always doing dishes where I'm adding in bacon or something like that. You're trying to somebody to love them like you do, right? Mm -hmm. Because um, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan, to be honest with you. But when you add in things yeah. like this, yeah. really good. So we've got some oil and butter in the pan. We're just going to melt it and we're okay. actually just going to saute these. Um, you know, for a total of 15 minutes or so. Hmm. Um, but we'll start off. With so this becomes a good easy side then, right? Because you're keeping it on the stove. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't need the oven you space. You don't need the oven. There's Very always, good. Hog, always, everyone's always just having a tough time for oven space. Right. You're using your toaster oven, you're jamming things in and switching them up. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to saute these. We're going to make sure that they're nicely coated in the butter and okay. add in some sugar. Okay. This will help to caramelize them. Uh-huh which will add the flavor as well. And then once these are almost cooked down, we can add in the apple and some chopped up prosciutto, mix it all together. Easy. And well, that's uh, an easy side, I love that. Yeah, it's okay. that easy. So what we'll do is we're gonna take a quick break, we'll come back and we'll show you how the, all this comes together, both sides, and you can pick and choose or use both for your Thanksgiving meal. That's it for now. Live color fully at Terra, where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, Look for trees and shrubs with the medallion plant tag. Medallion plants, locally grown, the pride of Niagara. Welcome back to Terra at Home and uh, finishing up our sides for Thanksgiving dinner and uh, we should again probably I guess should we recap first what we did with the scalloped potatoes? Yes because you didn't see that right. so we had the the milk and the cream and the porcini juice mm -hmm. water I should say in the big pot and you put the potatoes in there and let them simmer for about 10 minutes until they become fairly soft. Okay. Then you want to put in your first layer of potatoes in your casserole dish then we just spooned on the the mushroom bacon onion mixture Sprinkled it with uh, your favorite cheese. So I had a, you know, a blend of some Swiss cheese and old cheddar. Mm -hmm. Then just another layer of potatoes, some more bacon mixture, a little oh, bit more cheese. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then just put it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes or so covered. I covered it with foil, then I took the foil off and then cooked it for another 20 minutes or so. You want to make sure that it's warm throughout, but everything's cooked. Yeah, and the right. cheese is Brown melted and soft, mm -hmm. and, and it looks so 50 minutes total, maybe. Oh, so good. <laughs> okay, and for this side, that and was then really the Brussels nice, and easy. I love this. Right. So after when the Brussels starts started to get nice and soft, after I had added the sugar in with them, mm -hmm. I just added in uh, some sliced Granny Smith apple and some sliced up smoked prosciutto, and uh, continued sautéing that. Simple, right? Yeah, you can and season it with salt and pepper. If so you like. all that flavor in just some simple ingredients. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can talk a few more people into enjoying Brussels sprouts this Thanksgiving. Yes, maybe all right. get the kids we to should, have Yeah, some. exactly. We should remind you, of course, all these, uh, again, recipes can be found on uh, the Terra Greenhouse's website, terragreenhouses.com. And uh, again, it just adds to your Thanksgiving dinner of mm -hmm. just giving up just a few extra little sides, sure. maybe even just add it to what you already have, right? Right, So something different, Exactly. Right? A twist on, right. on the classic. And again, 
a lot of people are used to scalloped potatoes and what they are, mm -hmm. but, uh, but again, you're saying by adding the porcini and adding some bacon, and it just yeah, gives the it flavors a are completely different. Love from, it, from love it. So the normal one. This is our Thanksgiving contribution to your dinner. Yes. Hopefully, you have a really fantastic weekend with your family. <laughs>